to Madam, stop. Madam, please. No. Uh, yeah, I'll be right with you. I know you're <laughs> up there. Oh, marvelous. There she is. Just what I need, the crazy wood nymph. Can a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther. Oh, you savage. And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn. I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm-hmm. For stress. Is there any <laughs> animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Davenport. I really will be right the with you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you mind taking us outside? I don't want Shut trouble. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's oh, talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who geez. has the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> See him? The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches' brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some you real work. You think this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's what? enough! No. You ah. is the ah. crazy ah. shrew. Ah. Ah. They ah. should ah. throw you in an asylum. <laughs> That's it! I quit! You can tell the mayor I've gone home. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport, I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. I've <laughs> had joy, disgust, regrets, envy. <sighs> We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from Armadillo to Annisburg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and <sighs> promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you, I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. You don't have to decide right now, just think about it. We've been brought together for a reason. I feel that very strongly. I've been experimenting with tonics that can provide access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. You have to live as they do, eat as they eat. Hop as the toad, dig as the mole, love as the badger. <laughs> if you see what I've seen, you just have to open your mind. Join me on a voyage of discovery.
Hello. Look out if you work for me. I kick the crap out of you, all right? Okay. Well, let's get a look at you. I told the woman I had some work, but I was hoping... Well, who knows what I was hoping. They called me the boy. Pretty big, ain't you? Slow, I bet, too. I bet I could have three in you before you even blinked. That's why I'm the boss, and you're the lackey. I do everything twice as fast as everybody else. At 15, I've done more than most men at 30. If I make it to 30, I bet I'll be president. You can take that to the bank. Now, what was I talking about? Work. That was it. Fellas I know got to run them with the law. They got caught robbing a stage. There's a posse after them. They're going down to Limpany. Get them out of there. I'll pay you, OK? Make this lackey thing official. How's about that? All right. Good. Go get after them, lackey. Come on. That's the spirit. Go.
What are you going to do about it, Sheriff? About what? My stolen property. Well, ain't much I can do about it. I ain't got the manpower to go after Bob Crawfish. Howdy. How do? I pay your goddamn wages, me and folks like me. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Arnsdale. Really, I am. But there ain't nothing I can do about this. Now I have more support and funding. Will you go for me? Wait, what? Go. See if you can retrieve my lawful property from some goddamn thief. Ain't nobody knows who took your stuff, mister. I seem like some kind of liar. Is that why you won't help me? No, but... Listen. Get me Bob Crawfish and his closest associates by any means necessary. No. Not by any means necessary. Kill nobody. Ain't nobody convicted of nothing. I was robbed. Get them and bring them to me just down from Fort Riggs Station, and you will be handsomely paid. Sheriff. Mr. Arnsdale.
the upper Montana. We'll lose them on the river. Hey, I met those orange deals. Clinton, how have you been since we robbed you? Where's my property? I don't rightly know what you're talking about, Yes, Clinton. you do. My fine collection of Staffordshire China, gone. My paintings of scenes in Italy, gone. My collection of photographs of fairies, gone. It's all just a big mistake. Where are they? We invested in them together. You owed us money. I did no such thing. Where are my things? In the basement of your sister's house. My sister? God damn her to hell. Here. Here's your money. Kill these men, will you? In fact, don't kill them. Leave them on the tracks. <laughs> Thieves! You're not gonna because of some staffing for China and an argument between a man and his sister. What the hell's the matter with you? You had your fun. Let me loose. On top me. Come on. Just don't do it. Jesus. Woo! God damn. For a moment, I thought you were going to let that train ride right over us. <sighs> Look. I ain't gonna pretend I like you or what you've done, but you wouldn't kill a man in cold blood just on Clinton Arnsdale's say so, so maybe you ain't all bad after all. You got what you came here for, didn't you? We all square here? Okay, we're square then. Let's go then. Our quarrel's with Clinton, not them. <laughs> 